Would you like to learn the difference between cloud architect salaries versus cloud engineering salaries and the career path for the cloud architect versus the cloud engineering career path and the impact of artificial intelligence on the cloud architect career versus the cloud engineering career? If so, this video is for you. Hi, my name is Michael Gibbs, and I'm the founder and CEO of GoCloud Careers. Now, I've been an IT architect for 25 years, and a network architect, an enterprise architect, a cloud architect, and I spent more than two decades helping people just like you get your first technology job or get promoted in tech. And I want to help you really optimize your cloud architect career or your cloud engineering career. And part of career planning is understanding, you know, your salary potential and the career path and where you can go from there, but also in today's world, understanding the impact of AI on your cloud architect career or cloud engineering career. So in this video, that's what we're gonna talk about. Let's begin with the salary differences of a cloud architect versus a cloud engineer. And I'm gonna give you a general rule in all tech careers. The closer you are to the business, the more you will earn, and the closer you are to the technology, Generally speaking, the less you will learn. So the cloud architect is typically going to earn 30 to 50% more than that cloud engineer. And here is why, and then I'll give, sure, th go through some of the statistics for you. The cloud architect's job is all about optimizing the business. So if we have a cloud architect that can help create a new strategy for an organization's business, and let's say the organization does $20 billion a year in sales or annual revenue, and that cloud architect can help design a new system that it can increase sales by 1%, that's equal to $200 million a year to the business. And for an architect to ask for an exorbitant salary, it's no big deal. I want you to understand that. Now, the cloud engineer is about doing the work. They're basically doing cloud construction. And you know, I'm not saying it's fair, I actually think it's sad, but the people that build the solution typically earn less than the people that design the solution. So think the architect that designs the building, they get very well paid, versus the construction crew that builds the building, they're typically less paid. Now let's look at those salaries. The average cloud architect earns between 160 and $254,000 a year, average. And this is coming from Glassdoor on March 24th, or March 20th, 2024, with the average salary of about $200,000. That's average, that actually feels a little low in my experience, and I know many architects that earn far more than this, even double this and more. By comparison, the average cloud engineering salary is 113,000 to 190,000 US dollars per year, with an average of 146,000. So, Kind of think about that, it's typically lower salaries. Now there's one more reason that engineering salaries are typically lower than architect salaries. And that's the ability of where the people are located. So as a cloud architect, you know, we can rework remote some of the time, but we typically have to travel to the client site. And we have to be in a reasonable proximity in terms of an airplane flight to our clients. Now the cloud engineer is a little bit different because they're not typically visiting the client. In today's world, it just doesn't matter if your cloud engineer is in California, Chicago, the Cayman Islands, Cape Town, South Africa, or Cameroon. So that means while the cloud architect is more localized in terms of your hiring, the cloud engineer you can pick from the entire global talent pool, which means you now have many more people competing for the same jobs and when we look at the supply and demand curves from macroeconomics, we know at a given demand number of jobs, the greater the supply, the lower the price. So that's one of the reasons cloud engineers typically earn less than a cloud architect. Now let's talk about the career path. Where do you go from being a cloud architect versus where do you go from being a cloud engineer? Well, the cloud architect career path, you can stay in the architecture world, which means you can go from a cloud architect to a senior cloud architect to a principal architect or you can typically find yourself some very good leadership roles. And why is that? Because the cloud architect gets so many great leadership roles. Well, we're constantly speaking to the C-suite of our clients, which means we have to have a lot of leadership skills and a lot of executive skills and a lot of business skills. 
So it's very common for a great architect, like a cloud architect, to take on a director position, a VP position, or a chief information officer or chief technology officer position. Because when you really look at a CIO's job or a CTO's job, they're really about an architect. They're architecting a technology strategy to improve that business performance, which is exactly what we do as cloud architects. Now let's look at the cloud engineering career path. Because this is tech focused, most of the jobs for the engineer are typically in the techie world. So we might have an engineer who goes to a senior engineer and becomes a principal engineer, or we typically have an engineer who becomes an engineer in management, like engineering management, or a director of engineering. And that's typically where that goes. And that's because the more technical skills have less agility to other parts of the business, such as uh, the architect. Now let's talk about the impact of artificial intelligence on the jobs for cloud architects and cloud engineers. Artificial intelligence may be the best thing that ever happened to the cloud architect. And why is that? Artificial intelligence can optimize business performance. So artificial intelligence now means we cloud architects have more opportunities to boost our clients' careers. It creates job opportunities for artificial intelligence. Architects, people design the system to improve business performance. And it creates so many more jobs for us because we architects do so much person-to-person -person communication, asking so many questions, entertaining clients, giving presentations. It's all things that we need to do human to human. So AI, realistically speaking, increases the salary of the cloud architect. Now, unfortunately, artificial intelligence is not the best thing in the world for cloud engineers. And quite frankly, artificial intelligence is a threat to some cloud engineers. Now I'll tell you which cloud engineers will be safe, and I'll tell you if you want a cloud engineering career, how to be safe in this career. The reason AI is a threat to the cloud engineer is AI can write a Terraform script right now to launch your infrastructure in the cloud. AI can write a Python script right now. AI can write a Bash style script. AI can write a Windows PowerPoint Power, PowerShell script. So AI can do a lot of that stuff that the cloud engineers are actually doing. Now, who is this a threat to? Our best cloud engineers, this is not a threat because we're always going to need the best of the best in systems builders. So for the top 10 and 20% of cloud engineers, AI is no threat. Quite frankly, for the top 50%, meaning the people with the best skills and focus and capabilities, AI is not really a threat for cloud engineers. But let's talk about the bottom 50% of cloud engineers the people with the weakest skills, the people that are just starting out, the people that just, you know, are not the best. AI is a massive threat because AI can replace at least 50 per 60% of what the cloud engineer can do. So the superstar cloud engineers augmented by AI may be able to do the work of four or five of the average bottom 50% or bottom 50% engineers are slightly below average. So kind of think about that. So, if you want a job as a cloud architect, you are really safe. If you want a cloud job as a cloud engineer, here's what I want you to do. I want you to get the best training in the world, and I want you to focus on your career, and I want you to focus on being the best. Focus all your time and training attention to your job, not anybody else's job, and be great at it, because those people are always going to be needed. I also want you to focus on building your communication skills, your leadership skills, your business acumen skills. And that way, if you're a cloud engineer and things get a little tricky in the AI world, you can either move into sales engineering jobs or you'll be three quarters of the way to, the, to a, say a cloud architect because you'll have those business skills, those leadership skills, those communication skills, and that way you'll be safe. And quite frankly, the better your communication skills are and business skills and leadership skills, the more you learn in any technology job or any career in general. I hope you've enjoyed this video on the cloud architect career path and the cloud architect salary and the impact of AI to the cloud architect, as well as covering the cloud engineer salary, the cloud engineer career path, as well as the impact of AI. Now I've got to tell you, we've got free resources to help you become a cloud architect. We run free how to become a cloud architect webinars every week on Zoom, and you can come to one of these free webinars. We'll go over the job, and we'll answer any questions you may have about you and your career. We've also got a tremendous number of free documents in the description of this video to help you win the interview, to help you become a cloud architect or an artificial intelligence architect, 
or how to earn more money in tech, I really do want to help you. And it's all free in the description of this video. And if you've liked this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to be notified of new videos to help you in your technology career. This is Mike Gibbs and I look forward to seeing you on another video or another webinar. Take care.